Hello, hello. I am Ploms. We're here with our week 10 match against Michi and her Sweet Mountain Sylveons. Uh, we couldn't record week 9 because week 9 didn't happen. I got a forfeit win from A13. So here we are, week 10. We're bringing AV, Incineroar, Boots, Luvia, Leftovers, Blissey, Culverberry, Palisand, Scarf, Urshifu, and uh, Life Orb, Palkia. With Bull Cup Heavy Slam for that Sylveon switch in, so let's see. Let's see how that works out. I guess I can decide the battle rules myself. And uh, yeah, we're playing offland timer because Michi on her end can't um, unfortunately do land timer. And uh, yeah, you see our team right there. And uh, yes, if we win this, then we're most likely guaranteed through to playoffs. So I'll of course try to uh, to get that done right here, right now, because we sure as hell can't beat Wolf. So yeah, let's hope we beat Michi here. Last time we lost, so we see Ray, of course. Sorry if you heard that. We see Pex. We see Magnezone. We see Sylveon. And we actually see the Epsol, which is... Which all of the... Like, the extent of my Epsol prep is a Cobra Berry. So... SD Epsol could potentially be scary. I, however... I think I'm gonna lead Urshifu. With that Choice Scarf. And... Uh, we'll see what happens. If she leads Ray, I can just uh, ice punch it into Oblivion. And yeah. Our last game went to timer. I really hope this doesn't go to timer because we have both some hard hitting mons on our side. So yeah, good luck have fun, Michi. Hopefully, I don't misgender you like last season. I've done alright so far. I really want her. I really want revenge. She lays with Arcanine, which we'll see right now if this is Intimidate. It probably is. It is Intimidate. And now we still Oko with Surging Strikes, even with an active Intimidate, because we of course crit. So I don't think she stays in here. I'm U-turning. Don't want to don't really want to waste too much time. Let's see what uh, probably Pex comes out here, right? Like Pex is basically a free switch in into this. She stays in. She would have gave me Arcanine. Are you serious? Okay. Well, now I have to deal with a potential Will O Wisp coming my way, but this could also just be free rocks. So we'll see what goes on. Oh, this remix is sick. I love it. I love it. This gives me chills. Yeah, there comes the Will-O-Wisp, which of course is probably better for us. Because potential foul play does less, we can't get toxic. We see no leftovers, so I'm clicking rocks here and setting those up right away. Because we don't see any defogger. Sylveon comes out, okay. Is this an offensive Sylveon? Uh, rocks are up, and they are up to stay. Unless Ray goes for... Defog, which I don't think it even gets. I'm not wasting too much time. Since we don't even see Spectreer, I think Incineroar is... a good switch in here. It won't do too much to me with anything, because I have uh, the AV. And we'll see right now if this thing is actually, like, invested. Out comes the Hyper Voice. Yep, and that is perfectly fine by me. That does... Actually, she seems to have some investment. That brings me down to 306. So... Of 
that's that's 22 percent oh no that's no investment okay i get a free knockoff here and i use that to my advantage as she withdraws and out comes pecs okay we'll knock off wow that's why did that do so much is this thing no defen- This is an offensive Toxapex. I'm much more terrified now. This thing is super offensive. Okay, I'm removing myself from the playing field. Why is- wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, Lugia takes anything you go for. Absolutely takes everything you go for. Let's see what this goes for. And I'm considering doubling here. And I am probably gonna double out into what comes out on Lugia on her end. Probably the Swagna zone, right? So I'm, could, yeah, I'm doubling into Palkia. She could also Toxic. Can my controller work? Please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm switching in Palkia. Because Magnezone might as well come out here. Might very well come out here. Yep, she switches into Magnezone. Sylveon. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I have to switch out again. That's unlucky. The lefties on Sylveon. And the good remix is over, unfortunately. Excuse me? That is not the video I wanted. Well, we're on the wrong artist, unfortunately, now. Um, I'm gonna make my move and then decide to tell YouTube that I actually want Glitch City and not some random other people. <laughs> Production value, boys. Let's see what she goes for. No, oh, this trash. This is better. So we see a wish. Um, do I think, do I just U-turn here or do I knock off? What does she want to bring in on this wish? She might just protect. I'm gonna U-turn on the off chance she switches out. I need an opportunity for Palkia, to, for this Sylveon to switch in on a Palkia. Because if... Palkia decide yeah, she okay withdraws. Perfect. We get a good U-turn here. Out comes Rayquaza. Help me. Do we see boots? We see no boots. Airlock activates. Um Lugia's here uh Lugia. Yeah, Lugia will be here in a minute. We pack the ice beam for this. And we are still in multi-scale, so... Oh, it's leftovers. Oh, it's Wish. Well, <laughs> leftovers. Stupid map. Um, I'm Ice Beaming. I can't let this thing do any Dragon Dance shenanigans if it goes for V-Create or Dragon Ascent. My Ice Beam knocks it out. Um, yeah. Top commentary here from me. Relax, it's not actually vodka. This is an old bottle. This remix also slaps. Let's see. So no boots on Ray is huge. And she's consider she withdraws, okay. She smelled bullshit. 
Uh, Sylveon comes back out. And it's going to take this Ice Beam, and it's going to take it very well. Oh yeah, that's nothing. Um, here I'm going to bring out Blissey. She's... I have the rocks up, which is perfect, because I'm getting passive damage on her switches while she isn't. And she has no way to remove those, but she can just wish spam. I'm gonna drop a toxic here, in case anything funny wants to come out. If Magnezone comes out, so be it. If Absol comes out, I get a poison on it. As Arcanine comes out, which is perfect for me. Because I get this thing toxic. If I land, that is. Okay, I land. Perfect. So Arcanine is toxic. And we also see that the Arcanine is boots. Now she might very well try and pull a double here. I think either way I wish, because even like a Flare Blitz we take. Yeah, a Flare Blitz we take very well, and it takes a lot of recoil. It goes for Flare Blitz, this should do half if it's a very strong Arcanine. Yeah, it does about half, and it does tons of damage with recoil and here I really hmm she might very well switch here because I think she actually needs to switch because um, yeah I really don't want to reveal my protect just yet I think I'm hmm I'm bringing in Palkia. Palkia needs needs to come out here and it needs to get some work done because uh, yeah, she switches out into Rayquaza, which is perfect for me. Actually, okay, we see leftover, so we know that this isn't um we know that this isn't Scarf, so Palkia outspeeds this. And Michi knows this. Now, do I go for a massive play here straight away? Because the switch is fairly obvious here. There's no way she stays in. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm bulking up. I'm bulking up right here. She withdraws. Perfect. Out comes Sylveon. This is perfect. This is a perfect situation. This is a perfect situation. And we see that Sylveon is not Babiri Berry, so this heavy slam blows Sylveon back. It's gone. Oh, just as the music picks up too. I'm heavy slamming here. This is a KO on Sylveon. Sil Sylveon should be dead, right? Yes! Okay. Sylveon's dead. Just physical Palkia looks so cursed, man. It's, it's horrible. So Arcanine probably comes out. I mean, Arcanine... Yeah, Arcanine probably comes out to Magnezone comes out. Swagnezone has hit the field. A Spex Thunderbolt blows me back, but Earthquake blows it back. If it if she's Scarf, choice Scarf. Yeah, we live Thunderbolt if it's Scarfed. So I'm just going for Earthquake here. We go for Earthquake, this is a dead Magnezone. No way she lives. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And Palkia is stepping up once again. Everybody doubted this Pokemon. Everybody doubted her. Everybody doubted my baby. Everybody doubted my baby. 
and uh, on Arcanine. Yeah, I just realistically speaking. Yeah, there is no way you live in Earthquake, right? No, never. You never live. I go for Earthquake and I get my third KO in case she... Unless she... Okay, yeah, she switches out. And Arcanine is dead as well. Perfect. Everybody said, hey, Dialga's better, Giratina's better. Look at them now. Where are they now? Now, now she brings out Toxifex, which in my opinion she should have done way, way earlier. Um, on this, I go out into Blissey. I could have bulked up on this, but I really don't want to get burned or toxic. So, yeah, goes for recover. Covers all of its damage off, which really doesn't matter. She can knock off me here if she wants to. I'm going to wish. Yeah, she stays in, probably knocks me. There goes the knockoff. Should do about nothing, yep. And here I will probably seismic toss. To punish any aggressive switch-ins while I get my HP back. Like, unless this Toxapex decides to go for a gunk shot here. And is... She stays in. And goes for what? She gonna block me. Nice call, okay. So Bliss is back to basically full and I will wish again like I don't need to make any plays at this stage in the game Palkia basically got three kills and said okay it's your turn move <laughs> uh, Ray comes out speaking of it's your turn move uh, she might as well okay but we have a wish here and Lugia will completely neuter this Rayquaza. We're still at full, and uh, yeah, Lugia just comes out here. If she Dragon Ascends, like even if she Dragon Dances, we're at full health. It, it, Lugia can uh, Lugia can't be broken by Rayquaza if it's in multi skill. There comes a Dragon Dance. Since multi scale is a, ab an absolutely idiotic ability, yes. Oh, actually goes for the scale shot, which is interesting prep because the first scale shot obviously breaks my scale. But this ice beam is gonna blow you back. It's Yachi Berry. We might have a problem now. We might have a problem now. Uh, we might have a big problem now. Um, actually, I need to count this now. Because I am now terrified. Oh my god. A plus... Dragon Ascent has a chance to take me out. But if she Dragon Ascends me or V creates me, uh, then Urshifu outspeeds Rayquaza. So, out comes the Dragon Ascent. If she gets a high roll, she kills me here. She doesn't get the high roll anyway, so it's fine. Whew. This Ice Beam is gonna kill. But even if it didn't kill, then, I mean, Lugia went down, Urshifu came out and revenge killed it with a nice punch. So... Now Absol... 
might still fuck us over. Because if this thing goes for a Swords Dance, I will just Whirlwind you. I will sack Lugia by Whirlwinding. If she Swords Dances, I will Whirlwind her out. Close Combat's me, which we should even live. We live the Close Combat, wow. Okay. Which, uh, Urshifu will seal the game here. Oh wait. Oh wait, Magnezone's dead. I thought, oops, whoops. <laughs> I thought uh, Magnezone was still alive. Okay, so Mag uh, Urshifu will not seal the game just yet. I mean, I roost on this. Really no point in not roosting. I'm gonna preserve differential here as, far as, uh, as well as I can. As this goes for knockoff, knocks off my boots. That did a lot. And I can just roost spam here. No way to break me. She withdraws the pecs. As Absol comes out. And seeing the way this thing is playing, it's probably choice lock because it switched out. I mean, it switched out. I whirlwinded it for hit. Um, but yeah. I will just... I, I can't risk you setting up on me. I will just keep whirlwinding. If you want to knock me out, that's fine by me. Knock me out. Night Slash. Which we should even live. Yep. And it looks like... We have made playoffs successfully. How fast is Absol? Absol is super slow. What am I doing? Um, I'm gonna bring up Palkia here. I thought Absol was way quicker. If talks about, if Pex wants to knock me off, it's fine by me. She doubles out actually, which, looking at it, may or may not give Palkia another kill. It probably will, because a heavy slam knocks you out. We outspeed and knock you out with heavy slam. Perfect. So Absol goes down as well. And that's the game. I mean, timer won't allow the 6-0. But it's going to be a 6-1 victory for the XL Gores. Meaning... I click bulk up here. Meaning we have basically clinched playoffs for sure at this point um gg's to michi um yachi berry rayquaza was sick and almost almost put me in a predicament but yeah that was week six that uh, week six what am i saying i'm tired i should go to bed um that was week 10 we are now eight and two and yeah see you next week for our battle against my final boss Wolfer Wolf 14, who has blown me back both times I've played him, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye.